How can satellites address the sustainability issue? One way is a collection of high-definition thermal data from buildings anywhere on the planet. Satellite View, a new British space tech company, aims to become the world's thermometer from space, enabling everybody to accurately measure and report their progress towards energy efficiency and net zero. Our climate is warming and our planet is feeling the heat. Change we will need to monitor closely if we're to mitigate the impact and help people to adapt. So one British company is launching a constellation of heat-sensing satellites capable of collecting high-resolution thermal data of both the natural and built environment with the aim of making it available commercially for the first time. This is hugely exciting. I mean, this is a, a world first. This information will direct people to help them achieve their net zero targets. So it's not just a goal in, in 2050. We'll be able to measure the progress. We'll be able to direct people to the worst problems and make the biggest difference and be effectively the, the world's thermometer. Satellite View has partnered with Surrey Satellite Technology to get the project off the ground. And it's here in this highly controlled clean room that the first of the initial eight thermal imaging satellites will be constructed. Each will be fitted with unique infrared cameras, which will measure the heat emissions from any building anywhere in the world to provide thermal data sets with an accuracy, frequency and resolution never seen before. James Johnston is working on a risk reduction model as part of the preparations for the launch. It's absolutely incredible to be able to be at the forefront of pushing the boundaries of what we can really achieve with this technology and to be part of the, the overall mechanical team in here is, is fantastic. Satellite View has been flying a version of its sensor on a plane to demonstrate what can be achieved. The mid-wave, infrared wavelengths and 3.5 metre resolution could, for example, locate the most inefficient housing stock in a city or identify the structures and open spaces that exacerbate what's known as the urban heat island effect. We can see where the problems lie and where people are most exposed to real extremes. We can see in our imagery that even a small patch of grass or trees can really help with reducing the temperature of that really localised area. So that's something that you can get from our high resolution and we can kind of zoom in and say what is actually causing the problem and what is actually working as a solution. The data collected by the satellites could also help customers to monitor factory production and pollution, as well as the spread of wildfires. So with industrial activity monitoring, we'd be able to identify when planned or unplanned shutdowns are happening. With the thermal water pollution, we can see whether these outflows are affecting the environment. And as for wildfires, we could identify where they are, predict next day wildfire spread and hopefully prevent avoidable deaths. This is something quite unique in our satellites. We're not collecting the data and then trying to find the customer. The customer gets to point the satellite at where it wants to image um, and then we deliver that data in a meaningful format. The countdown to the launch is underway. These new eyes in space will provide valuable data-driven insights to help us to reach net zero and target the fight against climate change back here on the ground.